at home. We're just looking around. We, one of our favorite stores. They uh, they've got two of these in the in the state, or at least we're near where we live. We're building a new one actually right down the street from us. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. This is Leo's first trip to at home, at least out of the womb. No, he's been here one other time. He has. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say hey, mom. Hello. John's doing really good, except for he like really likes to sniff everything. He's got that new carpet, new pillow, new everything smell. Ooh. It's a really nice chest of drawers. That would be a really good TV stand. I like an entry TV. I know it is, but it, if it wasn't the fact that it had these drawers here and it wouldn't fit the PlayStation, that'd be perfect. Yes, yes, yeah, much better. Look at that. We're looking at getting a new TV stand here eventually. Uh, Emily was moving ours around a little bit to do some cleaning and it broke one of the legs off. Well, not off, but if we moved it it's again. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if, if it if it broke if it if we move it again, it's done for. So, in our future, we will eventually be getting a new TV stand. And do you ever want to look at yourself or your legs particularly? Well, using a faux I don't know what that'd be considered. <laughs> Why do you want so many mirrors? Like light. Eh, who needs light? I like it dark. Ask her. I keep things mostly dark. <laughs> right, mom. Family has been vying over something like this pretty much since we moved to uh, where we're at now. Um, her mom has one, as you guys probably well, I guess you didn't see it it's the last time because we yeah, moved it out, it out of the way. Yeah. yeah, but um, she's been vying for something like this to put blankets and extra pillows and you know stuff like that in for it, um, just for extra storage in the living room because we do have blankets that we use, as you guys might have seen Emily with hers on. John, stop sniffing things. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the smell of wood baskets. He's actually, his toys are kept in a wood basket and he likes to sniff it and chew on it. So we gotta keep him away from that. Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That'd be, uh, what would we use that for? Looking for um, a basket to go on top of the bathroom in, upstairs. Because I have one over to hold extra toilet paper and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. It's not fun being stranded. <laughs> Yeah. Especially when you're stranded alone by yourself and there's nobody to bring you toilet like that paper. That wouldn't be bad. Maybe a little longer. Yeah. No, yeah. Cause that's a little short than only have downstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, John. <laughs> you guys help me spin this because John got stuck on the wrong side. So me and Em have decided to do something we haven't done in a very, very long time. Not since we were dating back in Montana, up in Bozeman. We're just sort of going for a drive and seeing where it takes us. We're not 100% sure what's all going on. What's that welcome center sign there? Uh, I got no idea. I didn't say anything. Um, but we're just sort of heading out to the middle of nowhere and see where it takes us for the day. Um, we got real, real no big plans except for taking care of some stuff in the house like laundry and adult stuff But I know we got enough food and diapers in the in the um, diaper bag for us to enjoy a day out just looking around John's Finally asleep. He's not, he's not the best car going dog. He's really weird But you know, it's, it's something interesting. You know, we really just you know, all the time We've lived pretty much since we got out of since we left school and moved into our place in Billings and then where we're at now We just really haven't taken the time to just drive you know it used to be one of our favorite hobbies we'd go out about every other weekend or so and just disappear into the wilds of right outside of bozeman or gallatin county or we drove so far at one point we ended up at the pass we had to come back through the bozeman pass um because we ended up so far in the fields that it actually took us down beartooth um right into the bozeman pass it's really interesting so we're just gonna see where it takes us Ooh, what's that i wonder if they're open powell's roadside markets Ooh, that sounds interesting We'll see where it go. Okay, so I was just checking our GPS to get us back home, and we realized something. we're in North Carolina. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Didn't even realize we came to North Carolina. So, hi, family in North Carolina. We don't have family in North Carolina anymore, yeah, do we? Yeah. Oh, we had family in North Carolina, but yeah, we up almost at Nags Head, which is actually a really nice place to go from what I've heard. But uh, from what I've heard, but yeah, we <laughs> we drove so far that we ended up in North Carolina. 
<laughs> so that's our day so far. We decided to go to another state. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so I had to mute it because of copyright, but Leo over here is just losing his mind over Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. You guys can't see it because reflection, which is good because copyrighted material. Yeah, you just, excuse me, you are just loving this show, huh? Yeah, yeah, listen to him. Yeah, I'll turn the noise on just a second, buddy. The night is over, Emily is heading upstairs to bed. Actually, she's already upstairs to bed. And I'm taking the trash out here. Tomorrow we got a little surprise for you guys. We're going to do something well, more along one of those little challenges you can see on the internet. Everybody's seen it. But we'll do our own because I found them at Wal Walgreens tonight. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video and we'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs>